This podcast is brought to you by the Anchor app. Um, the Anchor app is what I use for recording, editing, and releasing my podcasts. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcasts right from your phone or your computer. Um, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be released on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many other platforms. Uh, you can even make money from your podcast with no minimum uh, listenership if you want some extra dollars in your pocket. And uh, it's got everything you need to get started today. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And happy casting. So, uh... I, I say we just stick to I'm probably wrong about everything. That's what I was going to do. Fuck. What? Mid, uh, mid-podcast, mid when we're doing that, I'm like, I'm like okay, wait a minute. Just hang on. In there, like, at the end. Yeah. And then I have to remember. Okay, yeah, I just totally forgot about it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Me. These are my thoughts on religion. Yeah. God is a hack. <laughs> but I'm probably wrong about yeah. everything. Yeah, the only reason I, I was thinking that, because it was like, yeah, we literally, we'll just go... Sh- 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 yeah, because yeah. like well, the, the podcast I listen to, they're mostly just like, okay, so this is how things are. This says this. This says that. And they like keep to a structure. Yeah. And then like the next question, and then we do that, and then we're like, okay, well we like pies <laughs> and the American Revolution, but then our brains go over here. But did you know the sun's a star? Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I thought about? So, um, I think we. We officially made it on this planet as the greatest species ever, and we invented crazy things. Oh, my God. We invented crazy things. <laughs> Think about it. You're crazy. What? Are you... Do you hate crazy? Hate crazy. It's disgusting. <laughs> okay, maybe it is disgusting because you're just pouring liquid fat on all your food. <laughs> but think about how lavish that is. We're the... F- have you ever seen a wolf pour fucking gravy on a carcass? I haven't seen a wolf even heat up his food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's still a lot. It's still you know warm, but it's still yeah room temperature. Yeah. Well, earth. No, it's forest warmer than that. But forest temperature. But my point is, is that that's when we knew we made it. Is that we're like, fuck, we're just gonna turn the fat into juice. Pour it on your food and eat it so it's even tastier. Sauce. That's when we... Yeah. Any fucking sauce. What other animal puts sauce on its food? And don't say a cat because we give it milk. It doesn't just drink the milk. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 That's when we made it. The sauce. The other thing is our thumb. Try going through life with using your thumb instead of your arm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I was thinking on my way over here. Space. The final frontier. Being in space and gravity here. Would we live longer if we had all the comforts here that we do in space, but obviously no gravity? Do you think we'd live longer? I don't think we'd last as long. So you'd never know. Because whatever would... Whatever... It doesn't matter what difference a planet has or how our, how different our planet would be. We just evolved to we adapt. Survive. Adapt, yeah. And, and that's exactly what – because I was listening to a podcast on the way here, and it was an astronaut, and he was saying how you have to exercise in space. You have to do load bearing exercise because your bones, they're not doing any gravity. Yeah. They – they – weaken like they have less density because they don't have because when we like right now there's gravity on our legs yeah right and on our bones our bones take the most load they're the most load bearing bones Mm. in our body apparently so when we're in space the the ability for them to sort of take weight well our body makes adjustments so it's thinking okay i'm not I don't need all this density in my bones, mm-hmm. so it actually needs strength. Yeah, 
Is that why our characterizations of aliens are all skinny motherfuckers? Probably, yeah. I wonder, actually. Well, there was, uh, like, if you're in space for 100 days, Mm -hmm. apparently you lose 1% of bone mass every month. Yep. It's a lot. That's 100 days of of space. Of space. The same three, the same three months? Yeah, so they call it three for seven. Mm. Well, there was a guy that was there for a year, so that's why they have to do load bearing exercises. Mm. But like, just think about, think about our, like, and, and then also our muscles too, because there's certain, mu- like our lower back. Yeah, that's all for, like, that's a, there because of gravity. Right. The guy was saying that sleeping is a really weird thing. Because because of the weight and gravity, our body needs to, you know, circulate blood throughout our body to mm-hmm. make it function. But if it's not using certain things, it will pool blood in areas that thinks the body is better utilized the circulation. Like the part of the brain. Exactly. So when you're in space, it feels like you have a cold all the time. Oh wow. Yeah. So when they eat food they have lots of hot sauce because otherwise they can't taste anything. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. Then I started thinking, how the fuck do you fall asleep in space? Like, do you have to have weighted boots on? So you're falling asleep in a cold tank? Like one of those water tanks? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely did. Have you ever been stoned in one of those things? I thought I was in hell. I actually no, it's a scary story. This is back. I don't. I, I, I don't really smoke a whole lot of weed anymore. No knocks against it. I just don't. But <clears throat> I I was taking edibles. And <clears throat> I love when people do that. <laughs> <They're> okay. <clears throat> Fuck. What is? Are you okay? <clears throat> okay. Now yeah, I'm fine. Talking. Yeah. So I took edibles. I took like two edibles and I had no prior experience. And then I was like, first edible? Yeah. Well, like, you you know what the word hubris means? (sighs) I didn't see that. Overconfidence that results in tragedy. Oh. Me taking two edibles was a fucking hubris. Two? Yeah. And then I went in. Do you know how much they were? Like each? Uh, uh, you know what? Maybe it was just one, one and a half, but because I had zero tolerance, yeah. I yeah, I got in there, I was relaxing, and then I was like, I closed my eyes, and I, and I swear a portal to another dimension opened, and I was like, nope, got out. That was took your third it. eye. Yeah, but off my fifth eye, and I got out, I took a warm shower, I was like, oh, this is so good, and then I, I was like, I must have been showering for like, what felt like 20 minutes. And then I look at my like thing. It's still like only two minutes has passed by. I'm like, fuck me. So then I go to get back into the thing. And I literally fell in. Like really? the door. Was, <laughs> like it was just brutal. And I was like. Mm-hmm. And then I'm laying there. And I'm bouncing off the edges. I'm like. Boop. Boop. Because <laughs> I can't like be still. And there's this music like. Oh. Like this tranquil. Yeah. I'm like. Fuck the voices. So I get out, and then I uh, I I call a, a ride share service, mm-hmm. like you know, they they say they pick up your car and then they drive it back. Uber before Uber. Yeah. Well, yeah. and then only they drive your car and you home. And I call them. Or something like that. Yeah, or or something like that. Whatever. It's Anyways, it's ringing for like thirty rings. The guy finally answers, and I'm like, hey, uh, can you guys come? Pick up my car and leave. And they're like, uh, sir, we don't operate our service till 5 p.m. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I look at the time. It's 1030. I'm like, <laughs> shit. Yeah. So I hang up the phone. I realize I forgot I got dropped off. Oh, shit. I didn't even have a car. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine how uh, fucking relieved I was. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was like, I just felt like a junkie. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't yeah. feel, I was like, I have no idea. So now when I do weeds, mm-hmm. it's either 
very minimal amount or in like like at night. Yeah, I usually just eat at my house. It's not something to me. It's not a very Publix thing. No, we uh, we Joe Rogan was here last year. I guess it was whatever it was. He he came to Aberdeen, and so you know he he loves weed as well. So Trav bought some edibles. Yeah, and they're pat. I think they're. There's five candies, and I think they were 100 milligrams total. Something like, I, I can't remember the exact amount. So I ended up taking. We, we, we told our buddy, who also did not smoke weed at all, to take all five. Oh, did he? He did, yeah. It was, what a dick move. Yeah, it was a dick move because it was fucking hilarious. Until we only took three, because he was like, me and Trav took three each. We were going to be smart to take all five, but, you know, spread it throughout the entire night. Well, just those three, fuck that guy. Like we got how many milligrams was it? Um, if it was indeed a hundred, I guess that would be sixty milligrams. Holy shit! Yeah. How much? How many joints in there? I don't know if you can compare the two, because it depends on how much how THC they put in that right. jam. So I I don't I I'm not too sure. If you like, you remember I had that also dick and milk. That, yeah. I like it better, though. The edible? Body high, yeah. Yeah. It is sweet when you're in a comfortable environment. Only when you're in a comfortable Only. environment. Only. Because I will never do it in public again. Yeah. So so we get there, and it started hitting me. Yeah. How was right. your buddy who took five? Um, he's He can be quite uh, irresponsible, I suppose. He kind of just doesn't give a shit about anything. Yeah. And he was the most responsible I've ever seen. Like, well, he, like our, cause like he our, got into his own psyche. Well, our, our one buddy, he, he brought a beer into the taxi and then, mm. yeah. And then, so he went to crack it and you know, you do the Achoo! kind of thing. So he cracked it and he goes, Hey, you can't be doing that to me. Don't do that. You're, he's going to find out. And he's all paranoid and stuff. And we're like, really? Coming from you who you gave him five. Yeah, I know. That's your own fucking fault. It was hilarious. And then, yeah, he also got mad at him again for drinking it in public. I'm like, you can't be drinking it in public. Is it Vinny? It was Vinny, yeah. <laughs> I can tell by your voice. Yeah, and he, he drinks in public all the time, so it's never, he doesn't give a shit. Well, the, you know. It's I, just hilarious. But anyways, can I, can yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, finish yeah, my yeah. Okay, I'll make it short. So, we got to our seats. It was one. It was also one of those things where it's like, I really hope I don't see anybody that I know. Oh. I ended up seeing. Everybody. Ah, uh, no, just one person. Or maybe it was two, I can't remember who it was. But no, I, it was uh, like an old friend that, more of a buddy. Yeah. So it was just kind of Mind like, you, he's a dork. Exactly. So it was like, oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's going to be a fun time. And then, okay, nice seeing you, bye. Like, it was super quick. It was just like, great. It didn't feel like forever. So then we go to our seats, and now it's kind of starting to, like, fully pour on me. And I remember I could barely sit down to my seat. Like, I had to think about balance mm. like if i yeah, was yeah, yeah. standing like this it was yeah. literally like okay i'm about to sit yeah yeah so how do i do this <laughs> i bend my knees put my <laughs> butt down but i had to hold on to the top of the chair yeah and like brace myself to yeah. kind of like a, okay and boom and then just like sat down into it yeah. it wasn't smooth at all yeah and then one time i had to get up to go like pee and get more beers and that was getting up out of the chair was also insane I really want to see Joe Rogan live. He's coming. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's, he's pretty funny. But um, so the end of the story is we went to the bar. After. And she comes. We went to Brown's. And she, she, the waitress comes over and, hey, can I get you guys some beers? And the three of us all look at each other and we're like, I, I literally could not order a beer. I had no yeah. idea what to order. I was scrambling. I was looking like I was going to different uh, venues. Different menus. Looking at different. And, Finally, the, our one buddy who didn't do any, he just drank. And he's like, yeah, I'll get a fucking house lager. I don't know what the hell you idiots are doing. Yeah. And we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll also get one. Dude, I think I drank maybe an inch or two off yeah. the top of the beer. and Like, it wasn't even halfway done. Yeah. And we were there for, I don't even know how long. Could have been there for an hour. So, did you, were you getting paranoid? I was so paranoid. We went to another bar after, and my buddy asked if uh, if I wanted to go dance. Like, you know, I heard you guys playing. Uh, what place was that? I can't remember. 
Can't remember. Anyway, there, there's people dancing in the dance arena. Oh yeah, the school dance. Is that the one right by the arena? No, it's it's kind of in the heart of town. Yeah. Okay. Or uh, up in Abbotsford. Uh, it'll, it'll come to me. But anyway, so he he was hey, let's go dance. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna go dance right now. I'm too fucked up. Can't do it. He's yeah. like, no, 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 like come on, just go see. Like let's go. And I said, I don't do this. And I grabbed him by the shirt and I like looked him in the eyes and I was like, don't fucking do this to me, Seth. Like, I'm too fucked up. And then I <laughs> threw him back. I was like, hey, man, like, relax. Yeah. Stack up. And it was like, oh, man, I was just, I hated it. I hated every minute of it. Hating every minute of it. Yeah. So, yeah, no more edibles in public. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> um, I think it, like, I don't know about you, but what about weed in the hospitals? It's like you really do get used to going there. Depends on the time and place. Well, I think you deconstruct kind of who you are. Mm -hmm. They're pretty egotistical creatures. And I don't know about you, but whenever I smoke weed, it makes me become more thoughtful of my egotism Mm -hmm. and my insecurities. Like, it... it, it, uh, it kind of humbles me. Yeah. For you? For me, yeah. I don't know about you. What does it do for you? I smoke almost daily. So, it depends on my mood. But I have done everything from, to be, to be honest, I love doing it before I work out. It gets me, yeah, fo- a lot it get, it gets like me focused and, yeah. and like, yeah. It almost makes me forget that I'm working out because my head. Yeah, because like you hate it so much. I hate it so much, <laughs> and then I, I like lose, and I'm like, I lose myself, and I'm like, like I love listening to music while I'm high mm. because I, you can pick out certain things that you want to. Oh, how does this guitar riff go? Right, and you can deconstruct it in, right. your, in your right. highest state. Right. Yeah, at least, you, at least for me. So it's a heightened sense of awareness. Uh, it can be, and then the opposite of that is sometimes I just want to chill out, watch TV get high and melt on the couch which is absolutely unproductive but uh it just depends on i guess what you want to use it for as a tool right because there's also times where say for family game night or something we'll play uh what do you mean or charge against humanity Mm. and just being high playing a funny funny game like that is it's awesome. I love that shit. Yeah, I mean, okay, so when I smoke weed, I'm not always like, ah, like freaking out. No. I, but I... I, I, it, I, I just think it depends on what you're doing. Yeah. I enjoy it. The only problem is sometimes I've had a harder time going to sleep when I smoke weed. Now, I don't know if that's because yeah. I've been addicted to sativa or Indica with the espresso machine. Mm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I don't know. Well, for example, I smoked yesterday. I was home alone. And I kind of had the idea that I just wanted to smoke. Like, watch TV. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Maybe eat some food. Just relax. And just mellow out. And I, I, it was a roach of... Or bass player, so I don't even know what drink. Smoked it, and is a I, roach more potent than like a joint? Like, like why is a roach more potent? Let me finish my thought before okay, I, I don't come to it. But um, yeah, I ended up doing. I I, I practiced guitar. I went and yeah. I think I made some music. I don't know. I made something rather than just like doodle something. Mm. Anyway, unimportant. And like I went to watch TV, and I kept pausing it and being like, ah, you know what? No, I'll go practice some guitar. Ah, you know what? I, I came down and I cleaned some of my, my base like my, my room for a bit. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna go do this. And all of a sudden I realized that I, the sole purpose of me smoking weed was so I could relax and watch T V. But whatever was in the, the joint, right, it totally flipped everything around and mm. I was like productive. Yeah. Even though I didn't really want to be. Yeah. It just kinda added. It kinda got you out of your funk stage or whatever. Yeah. Which wasn't the purpose of me doing yeah. it. it. It was a weird... It, it, it happens from time to time. So anyway, so... When you smoke a joint... Yeah. Unless you have a question. 
Well, I was just going to say, what's the difference between, like, why is a roach more important okay. than a fly? So, I'm not, I'm not a connoisseur of weed, but from my understanding. A weed scientist. Yeah. Um, Would you be a biologist or a chemist? You'd be a marijuana, ma- marijuana-ist? <laughs> um, that's a pun. Fair. Um, so, when you start your joint, you know, you're smoking the weed and all the, the smoke. And I don't know the technical term, but I guess the THC, it turns into that kind of like gooey, nutty oil kind of stuff. The tar. Skanky. Yeah. The dank kush. So as it's coming through your, the whole joint, right? So you're starting at the end. It all starts collecting and collecting. And so when you start a joint, you actually don't really get that high until you get things up to the max. Yeah, but yeah, like, okay. you're not going to get the, the, the most out of it because it's just coming through and some of the THC and stuff gets collected in the roach because the, the, the oil. So it's just throughout the joint in that tar stuff. Right. And then so when you have a roach that's, you know, yeah, a little yeah. itty-bitty one, it's all, all that THC is collected in that kind of small area. So when you spark up your roach, that's, so, that's where all your THC is. Okay, so with my little vapor You'll get one, high out of the joint. Yeah. More dank to your back, right. but uh, that that vaporizer thing that we put coffee through my mouth and everything. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do you get THC from that thing? Like, if it if it burns, like, do you want it to burn hotter or lower, or do they do different things? I don't know that. That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that one. But but yeah, when you were roasting coffee, yeah, it was a low burn. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, because you don't want to burn the coffee bean. Yeah, exactly. Because that's bad. You don't want to burn the weed, right? Exactly, yeah. Because I guess that would create smoke. Like, that's like. But that's what I mean, is then, are you even getting high off of it? Don't know. But I feel feel high. So, so next week's guest is going to be a weed scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a weed botanist. I'm a weed chemical engineer. (laughs) Um, Actually, uh, back to the roaches, my uncle. Yeah. He makes roach drink. So once he accumulates enough roaches, because he apparently oh. apparently he doesn't like the roaches, like he doesn't like the little smaller ones. So he gets like yeah, rounds them up, puts them into one, puts them into one gets, big gets one, and then just smokes the roach drink. Doesn't take it apart. Some people take all the stuff out of the yeah. vapor and then make a joint. Okay, he takes the literal roaches and just rolls it up. But like they're his roaches, right? Yeah. Okay. He's <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, I mean, like again. Not knocking weed, mm-hmm. but weed is just like any other substance. People can abuse it. Oh, yeah. Right? There's no denying that. Now, we talked about there's different highs in weed. I mm-hmm. think there's different highs in liquor. 100%. Okay. Tell you why. Okay. After this break. This podcast is brought to you by water. Drink it. It's good for you. And we're back. Okay, okay so. that was quick. Wow. Yeah. Um, so I have a buddy. You, you've heard of, um, what do you call it, whiskey drunk? Is yeah. Is there a term for it? Whiskey bent. Whiskey bent? And hell bound. Hell bent and hell bound. Yeah, whiskey. whiskey bent and hell bound. Um, he's, he's a little crazy on, on most days that we can, like, you know. Sober, is he crazy? He's just a unique human being. Okay, so he, cool. he's, he's just a little odd. He's a little weird. Yeah. So he's he, he'll he'll be sober. He's still weird. Okay. So and then when he gets drunk, he still feels a little out of it. But on whiskey, are you talking about me? Well, yeah. <laughs> on whiskey, he just he's, gets louder. He's psychotic. Okay. Like it's like I've seen him drink whiskey at at least go to the Kodiak Tunes when my when I was a little boy. We'd do a wee hockey game. Sure. And we would sit in the visitor section and geek off the players and stuff. You know, yell from the stands. We were, yeah. we were young. Why don't you net yourself a somebody? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so from time to time, the opposing fans would get, you know, annoyed. Fired up. Yep, and annoyed with us. It happens. Get some, some dads that want to fight some young kids. <laughs> I saw this guy, this kid. Get on, he, we were outside. He was on all fours, growling and, like, barking at this dad that wanted to fight him. Like, he was 
speaking at us like if you guys say one more thing like I'm gonna come over there and knock you guys out and he literally got on the ground and started going <laughs> and the guy's like what in the fuck <laughs> and it, I mean the guy didn't want to fight with him really yeah <laughs> it was it was the weirdest thing and it went like he because Jake what was it he wants to fight people when he's on whiskey many people do you get that whiskey drunk and they get the equivalent of road ra- um, Lloyd rage. Yeah. And it's fun. And, and road rage. And road rage. Sorry, if you're drinking and driving. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've seen Don't do that. I've seen him. Yeah, please don't. Yeah. I've seen him pass out in a car by like nine off whiskey. And then we checked on him a couple times. And the last time we checked on him, he wasn't there. And he wants he was halfway down the street yelling at us. So <laughs> one of our buddies tried to go get him. And he ran into someone's backyard. And literally just started hopping fences. Just trying to get away. Yeah. He, he's just a maniac. Yeah. And, like, he's kind of weird anyway. Right. But he gets just crazy. Fired up. On the whiskey. Yeah. And so we, we, we literally, he's not allowed to drink whiskey. Because he gets that messed up and does just the weirdest things. And he's become volatile. Yeah. So to answer your question, yeah, different liquors, I think, affect different people differently. Right. Well, and, and whiskey is a pretty good, uh, you know, species of liquor, mm-hmm. right? You got scotch, scotch whiskey, rye, rye Irish whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, and Which, like, we, I love whiskey, yeah. and I, like, I'm just naturally just a calm person, don't really get mad at people. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen you get mad at me. Yeah, I, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> well, externally. But, um, yeah, I, like, whiskey doesn't affect me like that. Right. Some people, they just fight when they're on whiskey. Yeah, I've never been a fighter, but I've definitely been, uh, you know, emotionally unstable. Yeah. Right? I'm just mm-hmm. being honest with yeah, myself. Yeah, no, for sure, yeah. Right? In the sense of, I think that booze, you just get rid of your inhibitions. So, the things that you repress sober when you're hammered and you're you just let it loose so i think the more that say you work on yourself you just do it two more rounds calm sober relax your brain Mm -hmm. blah 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 blah. the more you heal yourself i think it changes how you behave when you're wasted but then again if you do listen you're probably not ready for that level in the first place true because I think that, I don't know about you, but times when I've gotten, you know, kind of inebriated, it was sort of like an escape. Right? Yeah, just like, yeah. However, I've also had, see, here's the weird thing for me. It's like, I gen- I love hanging out with people, mm-hmm. right? And we've got ourselves into a lot of bad behavior. Yeah, and it's not like your fault, but it's like, I hit a point where it's like, I honestly feel myself starting to like, shut down mm-hmm. and I become like complacent have you ever seen that oh yeah yeah oh yeah like let's do this yeah. and you're like whoa but like you could see the eyes are like glossed over yeah and you're looking through me yeah not at me yeah that's not a good place to be no but but how come you don't get that you you could literally oh I get sad eyes <laughs> yeah I literally, I like, my nickname with my friends is Sad Eyes Bob when I get too drunk. Because I literally, like, my my eyelids just start closing. Yeah. And, like, it just looks like I'm just going to, like, be... Just bummed out. Yeah. But, like, I'm, like, having fun and stuff. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> but I'm just hammered. Yeah. I do enjoy being hammered. I'll be honest with you. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's fun for me. I usually let loose. I'm usually more outgoing and stuff. I actually quite enjoy it. Yeah, it's the next day, and not necessarily a hangover. Like I, I don't really get hang- hung over. Yeah, I'm p- usually pretty good, but it's that like mental fog, and just laziness, and just I just don't want to. Do- and then that follows me for like two or three days. Yeah, I agree with you there. Like, I don't know why that happens, but yeah, you just feel like burnt out. Like people just bore me. Well, don't you mean bore? No, I don't. I don't think I like. 
well, I think it's a number of things. For one, you're dehydrated. Mm-hmm. So I, I get that. But also, you know, liquor is a poison. Yes. Right? You, you're poisoning your body. And you're releasing a shit ton of dopamine because you're having a great time. Yeah. Your dopamine's going to be fucking depleted. You're probably feeling a little bit embarrassed because of some of the stupid shit that you did. Mm-hmm. Right? So, it's just, yeah, you, you feel kind of grim. Yeah. And I just don't like that feeling. No. Right? Yeah, like I said, it's, it's the after, yeah. the, ne- the next couple days. And it, it's a pure brain fog. Like I, I, really, I couldn't agree with you more. Like, it's just, I don't know where my brain went and it yeah. doesn't work anymore. And it's just, that's just not a good feeling. I don't like yeah. being there. You know what I did on Friday? What? Went to a party. And I'm trying to cut down on my binge drinking, which I love to drink. Yeah. But there's a party, there's beer pong. I knew it was going to be a big thing. So I bought an eight pack of Pat's Blue Ribbon. And the only reason it was PBR is because it's the only thing that came cheap. <laughs> it definitely would have stuck with Frozen. Um, and then I bought six prohibitions. Oh. So I had. Wow. I had 14 in total. Yeah. Did and anybody say any smart ass comments? Oh, of like, course. Yeah. Yeah, what are you drinking those for? And I told him my strategy. My strategy was, I'm drinking these eight, and then I'm going to stop drinking while still drinking. Yeah. Why I'm not? I'm still hammering beers. There's yeah. no alcohol in there. Yeah. So I'm not getting stupid. Yeah. So I ended up drinking, I started at like seven. And so I, I drank seven of those PBRs. At, and I just went, you know what? I'm done drinking for today. And I switched over to the, the prohibitions. I think I had four or five. And I was fine for the rest of the night. How is that not like a goal? That's a pretty impressive thing that you accomplished. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks, buddy. I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I had one beer last night. One. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I know this is might sound like a strange confession, but, you know, I used to really struggle with alcohol. There's just, there's no, like, I'm fucking lying to myself. I'm going to try and sit here and tell you I didn't have a problem with alcohol. Yeah. Right? But the problem wasn't alcohol. The problem was me. Because once I'd start drinking, it's like I couldn't stop. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you go to with AA and shit like that. But I don't, and you know, no knocks on those people. Some people, they, they need, they need to it, completely yeah. stay away from it. I'm yeah. not saying no. Yeah. But it just kind of comes down to, like, What's the goal? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to get away from? And I think for me, it's because I wasn't doing the things that I wanted to do. Shit like this that I'm passionate about, mm-hmm. reading books, growing as a person, that's getting me fired up. Yeah. That is my new habit. I was partying and drinking because I wanted to turn the computer off. Because the computer is like, we want to get better. And it's like, well, nobody else around me wants to get better, so I'm just going to get fucking hammered. Yeah. But then those people that maybe they didn't want to grow, they kind of faded away. But I was still in that habit. Yeah. So I needed to change it. So that's why I need to be more disciplined. And, you know, drinking a lot, I just, I don't feel good. Yeah. Right? But it's weird because, yeah, once you start, you're kind of like, ah, I'll have another one. Yeah. Right? Especially, like, I genuinely enjoy. Uh, I make these gin and tonics. I'll make you one next time. And there's rosemary from my bush. You have many. Yeah, yeah. You no, no, one. but but oh, like, have a new I have re- special gin. Oh, you have a new recipe. For yeah, it's okay. awesome. So it's gin, lime, lemon, rosemary, and a tonic. Mm. Can I have one of those? It's like, fuck you. What do you need? Like 15? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I don't think, like, like my point is, is that it's not booze. It's how we use it. Yeah. It's not we. It's how we use it. Binge, binge drinking is terrible for you. Yeah, but, but that's a, legal. But having a glass of wine every single yeah. day with your dinner yeah. is rough time. But isn't that strange how alcohol, which is probably far more lethal than you know medical grade heroin, mm-hmm. right? How that is legal to alcohol, but something like heroin. And so you have all these junkies that obviously I'm not endorsing the usage of, of heroin. heroin. Yeah. It's kind of addictive. 
So you have all these junkies that become junkies because they're injured in a car accident. They need pain pillars. Their prescription runs out. They still need the oxytocin or the or Oxycontin, yeah, whatever that is. Right? They can't get that, so they get some other street level shit. Yeah. They want the oxytocin. Isn't that in your brain? Yeah, it's like the um, love drug. Yeah, the um, 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 mothers get it when they hug their babies. Attachment. Yeah. Drug. Well, it's called a drug hormone. Well, oxycontin and oxytocin is that so far apart? There's definitely an attachment to that drug. They both have oxygen in it. (laughs) My point is, is that like legal versus illegal substances. I honestly just think it's like, why are we using this shit? Mm -hmm. Right? Like maybe if you legalized certain drugs, you would get rid of a lot of crime. Yeah. Like, for example, cocaine. You yeah. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just saying, cocaine used to be legal. You put it in Coca-Cola. Yeah. Right? Sigmund Freud Don't was... Don't where that where it came from? Isn't yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, hon- I honestly think yeah. so. He'll never Obviously, admit that, but... Yeah. Uh, Sigmund Freud, he was a huge advocate of cocaine. But he did too. That was too. a scientist. <laughs> well, yeah. No, no but Sigmund Freud, the father of modern psychology... He, but apparently he did so much that he became psychotic. Like, he attacked one of his patients. <laughs> right? My point is, yeah. is we shouldn't be reliant on anything. We're fucking reliant on technology. That's a drug. Yeah. That shit ain't illegal. Do you see my point? I do. And I have something in my head that I can't get out of, so this is a great idea. Okay. It's not that bad. Um, cocktail. Made of gin. <laughs> Boy, okay. that fucked you up. Now it's out of my head. All right, I have okay. to think of something else. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I get you an oxygen martini? Just like a little floaty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, mushrooms. They're a Schedule 1 drug. What does that they're, mean? They're illegal with absolutely no medical benefit at all. They're illegal? Yeah, illegal. Like, I like, think, like, like, I like think, magic mushrooms. Yeah. Thanks. Big shroom. <laughs> I've eaten champagners. Put that fucking yeah. white bottle pearl down. Put that oyster mushroom down. Um, no, I. What? Why the fuck are mushrooms illegal? Why is psilocybin illegal? I don't know. People don't like having fun. The government doesn't like having it's fun. It's it's organic though, Rose. But the problem is, is it it could be made perfectly, you know, according to regulations. Mm-hmm. And be far more safe if you just fucking legalized it, or you got to make it illegal so it's made illegally mm-hmm. and it's far more dangerous, right? I believe I don't know if you heard, but I believe Colorado took it off the schedule one. Yeah, no, it's thing. legal there. Is it legal even there? Yeah, it's legal oh, there. Nice. Like fuck, why? Like what a better way to move to Colorado? My point is, is this, like, we shouldn't be addressing the war. Because we're just really looking at how these drugs are coming on the board. Mm -hmm. We're not looking at why people are using them. Yeah. Right? Why was I using alcohol? I didn't escape. What was I escaping from? Myself, my demons. Yeah, I do. My thoughts. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't think weed is so much different. Why are we all fucking loving smoking dope? It's an escape. What are we trying to escape from? I'm not calling anybody who uses these substances weak people. Not at all. Yeah. I'm just saying I think we thirst for something much bigger. And we're finding it in these different ways. I also think you got to use it as a tool. Sure. Be it to use... If you use it all correctly. Yeah. It's probably great. But, but uh, I still think that there's a sense of escapism. And again, mm-hmm. this is just based on my experiences, Mm -hmm. right? I can't speak for other people, but what we need to look at is why people are turning to these things. Mm -hmm. That's how you solve this problem, right? When you stop responding to things with punitive measures, 
and start looking at them in educational ways, that's how you change society. Right? It's the same thing with mental health. There's a lot of sick people out there. Well, what the fuck? Why do you got to call them sick? They're people that need, they just need something. Mm -hmm. Right? We all could use a lot more kindness in this world. Mother Teresa has one of the most beautiful quotes I've ever heard. If we all clean the doorstep, the world would be a clean place. What does that mean? It means that if we all took care of ourselves, mm-hmm. ourselves, because we are important, the world would be a better place. So many people do not take care of themselves. And fucking throwing a ton of liquor down your throat, or mm-hmm. cocaine up your nose, or whatever it is. Sweet in your lungs. There's Mushroom more to it. Better. Yeah. Now again, mushrooms. I think that's been very helpful for people with depression. Not me. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm not a, knocking it. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my fucking year. There you go. I'm Which not. I wouldn't be ever been doing this. Yeah. What's that? Well, I said I'm the happiest I've ever been in years. Yeah. Well, that wouldn't be ever been in years. Ever been in your life, but I'm not, that would be like forever. This is the happiest you've ever been. But again, if you take care of yourself. Again, not knocking it, but you're still using a tool. Yeah. We want to come to a point in our lives where we don't need tools. We're self-sufficient to, to some extent. Mm-hmm. We'll always need food, right? Yeah. But we should be, you know, like the foragers that lived way before us. They had such a varied diet. We should have a varied diet as well in terms of what we bring into ourselves. Mm-hmm. Right? We should get high on our own supply. Hell yeah. Our mind is such an amazing thing. We don't need weed. We don't need mushrooms. We don't need booze. Again, not saying they're not fun. Not saying don't use them. I'm just saying we don't need them. Right? Our minds are so amazing and so powerful that we could become better if we just find out what our passions are and pursue them. Yeah. Let me think of it. You ever watch the show Brain Drain? No. Okay, I, I suggest it. That's quite interesting. I probably love it. Okay, so the world's best supercomputer. Yeah. How long do you think it would take it to make as many calculations as the brain does in one second, I believe it is? Might be a millisecond. I'm gonna huh. go I'm gonna go with second. So your brain makes a calculation in a second. How long do you think a supercomputer would take to make all those exact calculations that the brain does in a second? 40 minutes, 4 minutes, or 40 seconds? 40 seconds. 40 minutes. It took the computer 40 minutes? Yeah, supercomputer, yeah. 40 minutes to make the same... That's how powerful our brains are. So, like, a calculation, so, like, anything from, you know, you look to your left, and you figure out everything that's in the room. Okay. All the calculations, how deep something is. It, it, it makes all these connections. But hold on here. Hold on here. Yeah. It takes 40 minutes. But computers are not um, utilitarians. Are computers utilitarian or not? You know what utilitarian is? No, I just don't. They do. So, for example, if there was a train and, you know, it split on the tracks. Yeah. And you had to choose where it was going to split on the tracks. It could run over, like hundred people or it could run over your family which one would you pick are you sure you didn't watch brain drain because that that was like the next episode the okay. morality one well that's yeah. just what utilitarian is yeah a utilitarian would want to save the most people yeah right yeah but i'd want to save my family yeah the real question is what the fuck are these idiots doing it's on the a, train yeah. track but my point is yeah. is that i feel like computers are utilitarian they don't really have emotions no this is my understanding yeah not yet. God forbid we give computers emotions. Yeah. So, yeah. They're utilitarian. Well, then I can have a girlfriend. Right. <laughs> you don't need a computer. You can, get a, you can get a doll for that. I'm just kidding. But um, they'll look at everything in the room, and they'll make a choice based on what is the utilitarian principle, what is the most cost-effective. Mm-hmm. Whereas humans, we just, because there's only so much time, we're like, Say we gotta look at fifteen shirts. We're like, fuck it. 
just take that shit. Whereas a computer is like, <laughs> yeah, analyze. Right? Yeah. It overanalyzes. Whereas we just think, we're like, fuck it, I'll wear the Michael Vick jersey and go to the SPCA. Wait a minute, that was a bad choice. Right? No, but I think you're incorrect. Okay. I think you do make that. That, like the the uh, right the calculations, but it's but you might make it wrong. But you might make it wrong. It doesn't. Yeah, I'm not but, saying it's but, but, but you made a choice. Yeah. Whereas the computer will probably make the right choice. Yeah. But it takes a lot longer. Yeah. Based on a utilitarian principle. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that was. Uh, we recorded that one. We didn't. We didn't forget to record this episode. So that was really good. So. Uh, what would you say is the takeaway from this 44 minutes of us spending time together? Use drugs appropriately, including alcohol, drugs, yeah, or anything really. Again, going if back, you, if you're gonna use something, use it as a tool. Well, a buddy of mine, he he is so. I love this guy, but I've never met somebody with more iron focus. Like. His meals, it's like there's no junk in his life. To me. Yeah. Like he eats like, you know, eggs, broccoli, ham, on Saturday morning for breakfast. Like he's always on. Salt and pepper. He's, he's always on. He doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. Mm-hmm. He's just like so. And I sometimes wonder, like, is that actually kind of bad for your body? Not treating it right because at the end of the day we're all going to be dead yeah. and and he i think he's afraid of death because one what i said to him once i was like you know it sucked to be the last one alive and he's like no what do you mean i'm like everybody else is dead but you yeah i never thought of that and you probably fucking should because you're going that way yeah. right anyways um you want to enjoy life you don't want to live like a goddamn so, like you said, in, yeah, use things appropriately. Mm-hmm. You know, enjoy them. I'm not recommending doing drugs. No. But if you're going to do it, if you want to be, yeah, if you want recreationally smoke dope, that's fine. But when it's something that if you, you can't have a good day without it, yeah. that's a problem because you don't need it. You need to have a varied diet. Does that, yeah. does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I like what you said. Yeah. Um, I'll make this very, very quick. But our our guy that we know, he smokes chain smokes weed all day, every day. As soon as he wakes up, boom, and then he goes to sleep. But I've seen him not high, and he's kind of an asshole. Mm. But he's very functional a lot of the time. And when he's in that state, he's like he's super intelligent. Like I, he knows everything about everything. He, like he, he would tell you the the, the molecular structure of of the human body. It's it's crazy, but constantly high. Okay. Now, is he getting high so that he performs at his peak? Maybe it stunts it. Like I I don't know. But he does use his maybe the words abuse. Maybe he abuses weed. Like like with the amount that he's he's literally high all day every day. Well, but that's his, how is that any different than an alcoholic? Usually, those alcoholics aren't. Well, there's functional alcoholics. There is, but they, uh, yeah, right. I, I, uh, I mean, I mean, what my my per- my point is is we need to be self sufficient. Yeah, we shouldn't rely on. Also, if something's not working for you, just stop doing it. Maybe you can be drunk all day. Maybe. Well, maybe, it's not maybe. good. It's not good for your body. No, it's not. <laughs> but maybe, maybe you can function. Maybe that's just how. It, maybe, maybe you're. I mean, it is your. It is your life. But yeah, I I really just think that our our bodies. If we've had a varied diet for a hundred thousand years, evolutionarily speaking, mm-hmm. and we weren't able to find psilocybin mushrooms everywhere, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you found them somewhere. And you probably don't need them every day. If we found ripe fruit that if we ate and it got us hammered, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. But we weren't doing that every, every day. single day. Right? We yeah. need to have varied diets. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Let me try that one again. Bam.
sound like this. <laughs> but you know what? We're probably wrong about everything. Yeah, I know. I, I most likely am. <laughs>